The dispersal of liquidity across lit and dark pools has pushed firms to expand their hunt for alpha across brokers and borders. But the disparities among markets creates barriers to efficient execution. As firms grapple with the resulting data deluge, a revolution in trade performance analysis and cost measurement has been occurring in parallel with the race for high-speed execution. Achieving best execution means understanding the market impact of order execution. Every trade has an impact on the market. This is a function of available liquidity, order size, and duration. That impact has a material implication on order performance. Liquid markets can absorb the impact of trading without incurring heavy costs. The techniques to discover and measure that impact can have a direct consequence on trading behaviors. First, to lay down some ground rules, TCA's goal is to measure and analyze the factors which affect the price of an order. It is a feedback loop to identify inefficiencies so improvements can be made in trading styles, algorithm logic, algorithm aggressiveness, and broker selection for the express purpose of preserving alpha. To achieve this goal, firms across the industry from quantitative funds to asset managers are leveraging the same automation technology used by high-speed traders to design and build customized TCA. Why is this happening? An expanding use of execution algorithms and their increasing sophistication. Consolidation at the trading desk. Traders want to use the same tools across asset classes for an overall view of their tradable markets. Broker independence. Firms are relying less on brokers to manage their order execution, favoring use of their own algos and leveraging in-house quantitative expertise. The tools to quantify executions and measure how well they perform against benchmarks are becoming common in all asset classes. And it is the same low latency technologies used by the high-speed trading crowd. The three core technologies are data management, analytics, and visualization. TCA demands a broad view of market data, whether end-of-day analysis, intraday, or real-time monitoring, Historical content, along with streaming real-time prices, play a vital role to establish benchmarks. And it starts with consuming market data, often in differing formats and protocols. That data has to be consolidated, time-aligned, and price-adjusted across providers for an accurate reflection of market prices. Accounting for cancellations and corrections, corporate action price adjustments, and symbol name changes are the bedrock for reliable benchmarks. Analysis of trade execution is necessarily complex and involves the comparison of execution prices against a variety of benchmarks for three primary drivers of cost analysis, market participation, market impact, and implementation shortfall. Costs fall into a number of buckets including explicit costs, those taxes, fees, and broker commissions for placing orders, and implicit costs, which represent the invisible portion consisting of the bid-ask spread market impact, and costs from lost opportunity, whether that's operational delays, market timing of order submission, or any missed profit from unfilled portions of an order. The third component in this technology stack is visualization, the front-end charts, graphs, and heat maps to fashion benchmarks and price analysis into a human-readable format. Visual display simplifies comprehension to promote greater insight and most importantly offer clues to spot outliers. Many benchmarks exist in TCA to measure trading performance. Some benchmarks are point in time, such as market open and close and arrival price. Others are more dynamic, consisting of average values for an order's duration, the trading day, or the period used to measure market impact. Those metrics include volume weighted average price, simple moving average, traded volume and volatility, Measured on both market prices and fills, they offer a good reflection of price activity from start to end. The main challenge of TCA is to determine whether a trade price is high or low given market conditions at the time the order was processed. One way to determine that is to measure market impact by comparing multiple price points, the arrival price, an order's completion price, and the impact price point, which is normally considered the market price at a time equal to the duration of an order. Let's look at a few examples of this. Here I have a list of orders for a particular day's trading, initially just showing summary statistics of buys and sells. That includes dollar values, percentage of market volume, 
and order performance against benchmarks, arrival price, and VWAP. I can expand the summary to show details first by symbol and then to specific orders by ID. Let's look more closely at one specific order. Here's a drill down into order for Bank of America Corporation, BAC. It's roughly a two hour order submitted in the afternoon around 2 p.m. This chart shows the fill by fill activity at what price and what venue. The bubbles represent each individual fill. Bubble size is relative to the quantity. Color indicates the venue. Along with fill detail, the chart shows the smoothed fill average prices and the market itself. For the symbol, the market price looks quite volatile. In roughly a 30 minute span at 3 p.m., the price jumped from 1228 to 1240. Volatility and fill aggressiveness play a key role in market impact and in order's overall performance. Let's continue to explore this specific order. Here's a scatter plot of the buy orders for the day, just showing a single broker. Here we are charting order duration against order arrival performance. That's a comparison of the average fill price against arrival price. As you can see, most orders are clustered around the zero mark. Those above zero did better against the rival benchmark, and those below did not. Also, most took roughly an hour to execute. You can spot the outliers easy enough, those furthest from the zero line. Our BAC order is an outlier, showing it did poorly against the arrival benchmark. We can continue this exploration, now looking at the same group of orders and their influence on the market as measured by the percentage change of an order's completion price to the impact price point. Again, that's the market price at a time equal to the duration of the order. The percentage change indicates a price movement up or down as resistance to reverting to the mean. The measure of an order's impact is how the market reverts afterwards. We'll just look at buy orders for now, which by definition have a natural tendency to drive prices upward, consequently creating a positive change in the percentage. The height of the bar in this graph is that percent change. The color is the reversion dollar value. The difference in price between order completion and impact price point multiplied by the traded quantity. The higher the bar, the larger the difference in the price change, and the deeper the color red, the more costly the order. Here's our BAC order, one that is particularly impactful with a 2.64% movement of the market, overall causing this order to perform poorly. Closer to or below the center line, is where the impact was low or moved in our favor. Here's the last chart I'll cover. This one showing the relationship between market impact as measured by the price reversion against the time the order is submitted to the market. The purpose here is to show correlations between market timing of order submission and market impact. BAC is again an outlier here, this time being the single standout. This graph is showing only buy orders those above the zero line tended to drive prices up. The size of the bubble is average daily volume. Being more actively traded relates to the volatility we saw on the fill performance graph. In general, an order's performance is a function of the algo's aggressiveness as it relates to available liquidity and volatility. These few charts I've shown touch upon ways to delve into the correlation of this relationship. Every trade has an impact on the market regardless of the size of the trade, it is going to incur a cost simply by its presence. Market impact is one of the more costly components that can affect order performance. Triggered by aggressiveness, an order can generate adverse price movements. It is the price to pay for consuming liquidity beyond the best quote. To complete large orders, buyers must pay premium prices and sellers must offer discounts. This supply-demand imbalance forces market prices to less favorable conditions. Stealth algorithms were devised as a means to reduce market impact. They are an outgrowth of market pressures, that imbalance created by increased automation and sophisticated order flow detection employed by some. Reversion analysis is a means to measure how well a stealth or any execution algo can blend in with other participants' activity, thereby reducing market impact.